The best NFL player from every height. 5'5". Five, five. There was a 5'5 five, five player last year, JJ Taylor, but he literally just grew one inch and now he's 5'6". Way to ruin the fun, JJ. 5'6". We have Deontay Harris, who's a wide receiver. You've probably never heard of him, but he's actually a pro bowler. Not as a receiver, but as a kick returner. You know how hard it is to tackle somebody you could barely see on the field? This dude is tiny. 5'7". We have our first actually good player, and his name is Devin Singletary. The running back for the Bills. This guy is a mini tank. I don't know how it's possible considering how short he is, but he is impossible to tackle. 5'8". Austin Eckler. Arguably one of the best running backs in the league. Easily the best catching back in the league. All this guy does is get receptions. He led the NFL last season with the most touchdowns at the running back position. Bro, that's no joke. That's an amazing record. 5-9, Aaron Jones, the running back of the Packers. And this one shocked me because he's another one of those guys who is super strong. Look at this, nobody can tackle him. But you know what the secret is for running backs that are short? They have a low center of gravity, which means all of their muscle is down low and it makes them hard to tackle. That's why you don't see too many tall running backs. And this season, Aaron Jones was especially good because the Packers also have A.J. Dillon, but Jones did so good that they barely give A.J. Dillon any rushes anymore. 5'10". We have Tyreek Hill, one of the best receivers in the league. How is he 5'10"? I thought this guy was way shorter, but I guess not. I don't know if they're including his hair. I feel like they're including his hair in that height. But anyways, we have the fastest player in the league, and it's not like there's no competition at 5'10". Josh Jacobs, who had the most rushing yards last season is also 5'10", but he's not better than Tyreek Hill. Are you kidding me? 5'11". Let's ride! Nowhere, Russell Wilson! You're not even top five at this height. Get off my screen! We have another special player here, and his name is Saquon Barkley, who just had the best season of his career. A healthy season, too. Nobody in the league has moves like Saquon Barkley. Look at this! Do you, do you know anyone that does this? Do you know any other player that does this? And Saquon is so good that he even beats Christian McCaffrey at this height. Sorry, Christian, you're a really close second, but I gotta give Saquon the edge. And just to show how big of a downfall Russell Wilson has had, if we did this video last year, Russell Wilson would have won the award. And now, I'm not joking, there's 10 players at 5'11 better than Russell Wilson. Switching teams was the worst thing that could have happened for Russ. Six feet tall! Fun fact, I'm six feet with shoes on. Really big shoes. But the best player at six feet is Stephon Diggs. Bro, how are these short wide receivers so good? We are in a different era of the league with these small and fast receivers. But Stephon Diggs isn't just fast. He is the best route runner in the league. Him and Devontae Adams, two of the best route runners. So even though his speed isn't like Tyreek, his route running is so crisp that he still beats defenders. 6-1! Talking about Devontae Adams, hello Devontae, and goodbye! Cause you're not the best 6-1 player. Justin Jefferson, the best receiver from last season, who broke Randy Moss's single season record of most yards in the season for the Vikings. That guy, who probably saved your fantasy team, is the best at 6-1. Hello? Yes, I know Aaron Donald is 6-1, but I don't care! Because he's not as good as Justin Jefferson! 6 2 Cooper Cup You've got to be kidding me This guy, he doesn't look 6 2 Bro, look at him on the field He looks like he's 5 10 But fine, we'll listen to what the NFL says 6 2 He was probably wearing some huge shoes When he got his height listed But we'll allow it He's easily the best 6 2 player Bro, Cooper Cup, when healthy Nobody is better than him I don't even want to hear about Justin Jefferson When Cooper Cup is healthy he is the best receiver in the league. 6-3! You know what's crazy? Derrick Henry, a running back, is 6-3! You know what's even crazier? He's not even the best 6-3 player! 
player. Greg, who could possibly be Derrick Henry? Patrick Mahomes, that's who. Yeah, good luck beating that for the next 10 seasons. Because Patrick Mahomes has this award on lock. He is not losing this anytime soon. Can I see a quick sidearm throw before we go to 6-4? Oh my goodness gracious. Why can't the Giants have Patrick Mahomes? We need him. 6-4. Tom Brady is gone. There's room for somebody else to win. Finally. And the best 6-4 player. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. He's cool. You know who it is. Joe Burrow. Bro, you know Joe Burrow's only played three seasons? I'm still bamboozled by that fact. I feel like he's been dominating for five years. This guy's been playing for three years and is a top three quarterback. Hello? How did you get this number? Bro, I don't care about Miles Garrett. He's no Joe Burrow. I mean, Miles Garrett is incredible. One of the best defensive ends in the league easily. But Joe Burrow is better. Fight me. 6-5. Carson Wentz will never, ever win this award. You stink, Carson. This was an impossible one, but I've gone with Travis Kelsey. Not only is he the best tight end in the league, he is probably the best tight end of all time. He's better than Gronk. He's better than Tony Gonzalez. There is nobody who's been as good as Travis Kelsey is right now. And you're probably wondering why this was impossible. It's because Josh Allen is also 6'5". Do you know how utterly good you have to be to be better than Josh Allen? Unbelievably good. 6'6". Six, six. Bro, the two tallest quarterbacks in the league are 6'6". Six, six. Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence. Bro, why are players getting taller every year? They both had 25 touchdowns. Herbert had two more interceptions, but he had a higher completion percentage. But Trevor Lawrence had more rushing yards. It is neck and neck so unbelievably close, but I'm giving it to Justin Herbert because Herbert was unlucky this season. All his receivers were hurt. His offensive line was hurt. He was hurt. But Trevor Lawrence, everybody was healthy. And he barely played the same as Herbert. So imagine how good Justin would have been if everybody was healthy. Justin Herbert is the better player. 6-7, Taylor Luan. He's been the left tackle of the Titans for the last like 15 years. And one of the best left tackles in the league. Bro, I don't like talking about offensive linemen. So if I mention an offensive lineman, that means they're really good or really tall. If you don't know how good Taylor Luan is, enjoy this video of him absolutely destroying a defensive player. Oh yeah, he's really good. 6-8, Calais Cam. Bell. There can't possibly be competition at 6'8", right? Right? Oh my goodness! Donald Parham Jr., a tight end? A tight end is 6'8"? He did great with the Chargers, but no, I'm sticking with Calais Campbell. One of the best defensive ends. And no wonder, this guy is huge. He's like the Shaq of the NFL. 6'9"? There's a 6'9"? for the Packers. I didn't think there would be a 6 no Oh my good, there's a 6 10 player! 6 10? Dan Skipper, who just had a breakout season for the Lions as an offensive lineman, is the tallest player in the NFL. And just for fun, here's a picture of the shortest player standing next to the tallest player in the NFL. 